Okay, hey there guys. So in this war, it's the final war of the season. We're finally there, and we're up against New Nation for the second time this season. And let's just say it's going to be... Actually, it is a fairly close war, this one. So, because they lost to TCN, we knew we had to win the final two wars, because TCN had a matchup that they were they were going to win. They ended up going 100, uh, 150 and 0, so they didn't die that war, which is very good for them. So we knew we had to perform very, very well this war because that was also the matchup they had earlier in the season and they had the same score. So we knew we had to play very well this war and fortunately I think we're going to be able to. So up here is this Conflictor Doom which I've taken a fair few times through the season. Um, in this war I'm not going to take too many fights as I said because it's such a big war a lot of the fights got like very spread out I believe when I looked at the scorecard I should double check that to make sure but I believe it got pretty spread out in the BGs to try to make sure it was as like not just balanced but as perfect of a matchup as you can get and I still believe that Doom is the best matchup for this node so next season with Conduit that will be very interesting to see. I got to my SP3 without him throwing off his SP1 or SP2, which is really all you want in this fight, just so you don't have to worry about him maybe nullifying your fury and you're just able to do your big damage. So I go for the power back boost, and also right there I had that bug, it's been there for like two seasons now man, it's absolutely killing me, it gives me a panic attack every single time. And right there I back off early because as I said, um, I just prefer doing that for the doom cycle still with the ranked 4 in war, just going for that like second combo. Yeah, that little bug where sometimes it throws a light when you're saying to do a medium. I'm pretty sure it's a bug because I've heard other people saying the same thing where they're throwing a medium. I'm like sliding my thumb, but it does that. And as I said, here I have on power boost, so I actually thought about cycling SP2 on the previous one. But as you can see, even with double fury, I actually don't get that much power back because you don't really crit with doom against doom. That's just not how that matchup goes. And here I'm going to apply my white magneto to this long shot. Um... I believe, yeah, it's Revenge is going to take this with Nebula. Revenge is absolutely filthy player, so good. Um, and they absolutely crushed this fight. That's like, it wasn't too long. I just had to wait for them to, like, go in. And so that was the first fight. So I had the power boost on, but I don't really think it came into play very much there. Um, I got to let New Nation know they're cute. I got my boys over there. There's a few guys over there that I know pretty well. Always really nice. So, you know, they're looking pretty cute. Noon, you guys always looking cute, just so you know. So here I have my second fight, and this was right after the long shot fight, so it was like same set of boosts, and this is why I have my Mystic boosts on. This fight. <clears throat> so also, that's the first fight I used my only power start one, and this fight I'm using my only invulnerability boost, but I felt these were the two most dangerous fights for the war. Even though I've taken that Doom a couple times, it's still a little bit... It, it's very safe, but it could go wrong technically if he gets to SP3 for some reason. And this Nick Fury I haven't done, but I saw a fair few videos from some Alliance mates and a very good Doom player. And so I had an idea and a general concept of what I wanted to do. Right here I actually made a very big error. When I was going in, I wanted to make sure I controlled his tactical charges very well, and so that way he would only throw, he would only get the Fury if I could nullify it, and I wouldn't use my SP1 to push him unblockable. But then I immediately throw my SP1, pushing him unblockable. Fortunately, I was able to get an intercept off to push him into Fury, nullify the Fury, get Mystic Dispersion going. <clears throat> and right there, that was just basic getting the fight back under control. Fortunately, because it's Kinetic Transference, I can get him back up to the two bars of power for my Doom Cycle very, very quickly. And here's where the fight takes off. So again, I start off with the light there, but I'm pretty sure I didn't want to. And right here, I was actually really annoyed because he gets up to that unblockable phase. And so that really messes up my Doom Cycle. Right there, I should have thrown the Heavy instead of the double medium. I don't know why I went for the medium. <clears throat> but I was looking at his health, and I knew my SP3 was going to do 20% damage. It's Dr. Doom. Fair few boosts going on. Like, it was going to do the 20%, of course. Like, so I'm able to get my bar back. And what I really want is I want to use a four light hit combo and to nullify the fury but i get really unlucky and i actually don't nullify the fury on like six chances but right here with just a little bit of aura left and it pushes me back over an sp2 and right back to the sp2 and that is the full power of doom with the mystic boost i personally always found doom with mystic boost to be just overkill because my thought was always just well 
it pushes you from your SP3 to your SP1 immediately instead of doing your like seven hits with Doom to get your SP1. So that's why I was never the biggest fan of it. But right there, I think it shows its value in very tough matchups where you're able to start cycling your SP2. I saw someone had a very, or the Alliance mate that took it, he did it much better than me where he didn't have those unblockable phases where he couldn't hit into them. And so he was able to get to his double Fury when uh, when Fury still had like 50% health left. And so he cycled like just four SP2s back to back and it's absolutely insane. For this Claire, I really didn't want her to throw a heavy, but I kind of needed to repair or something to be able to build my power up without letting her get <coughs> her bleeds. And so right here, I'm able to do that, and she actually doesn't, but she goes up to SP2, perfect. And I just, and she just throws her SP1 from across the map. And so I actually end up getting hit there because I missed the intercept, I believe, because she still had the bar of power back, I think, from the immune stuff. So I was kind of annoyed about that one, but it happens, I got tagged, but I'm Dr. Doom, she didn't throw her SP2 into me, so I'm fine. I knew as long as I didn't eat the SP2, I'd be probably fine. Uh, the SP1 won't likely crit against me, and she immediately nullifies my Fury, which kind of helped because it gave her some power for Mystic Dispersion. Unfortunately, the heal block goes off, so she's no longer unblockable, but then ab right away, she gets back to unblockable with the heavy. And I throw my SP2, because I want to give the time for the uh, bleeds to fall off. If I had gone for that parry right there, she would have been unblockable still, so it's very good that I dex back. Also, I guess I forgot to mention this at the start, we waited until Global was down for me to take her on this node. Um, some The other BGs took that fight with Warlock, and they didn't have to wait for the Global to go down because you're using Warlock, so you're not going to get the bleeds, and so you just... you power drained her because of the willpower and all of that stuff. And Nick Fury versus Spider-Ham, this isn't a fight I've done on this note I think, but I've done Nick Fury for Path 4 plenty of times. Right there, I was very slow on my heavy, so I'm a little bit lucky that I didn't get evaded there, or like he didn't dex out of my heavy, but it's fine. And right here, I want to use heavies whenever I really get the armor break on me or any taunt, I just want to immediately shrug that off or I'll throw SP1 because I also don't want him building his nonsense charges so he doesn't evade me. So you're just going to see me, I see the porker popper, I'm throwing my lights, and I also don't want him to throw the SP2 because I don't want that to go unblockable. As you see, I have two debuffs on me right now, so I really want to throw my SP1 as soon as I can. And the taunt reapplies, but I'm also just going to immediately shrug off the taunt. And I'm going to go in for the intercept, and I'm going to go for the light. I'm going to hit through, oh, a parry. I'm going to hit through, hit the light enders, not the light enders, the light ender, and that finishes off the fight. Very, very simple there with Nick Fury. I was able to keep my SP1s going very quickly, so he didn't build many nonsense charges. And we finished very fast there. After the past couple wars, we got criticized for our speed. We went pretty quick there. So that's the final war of the season. Just absolutely phenomenal season by us. Um, nothing but proud. I'll have a lot more videos just about general talking coming soon, so I won't gush my heart out right now. But absolutely big ups to everyone in GT40 and to everyone who finished, eh, almost everyone who finished podium. <laughs> um, also, great job by Tryhard Zap this season, considering this is his first season with us in BG1, and he was MVP for like most of the wars. He got so many fights, so an absolutely stellar job by him. He's a great player, great guy. Um, I hope you guys had some good openings today. I got this video out a little bit later than I wanted to, but I hope you guys' openings went very, very well, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!